Ever wanted an invisibility cloak? Well, scientists say you can make one at home, which I do not believe because I cannot even microwave popcorn right. <laughs> Anthony here, and in 2006, researchers at Duke University created a fully functional invisibility cloak, and now they think you can do it yourself at home. But let's all manage our expectations here a bit, because there are different kinds of invisibility. There's optical invisibility, that means invisible to the naked eye, and then there's functional invisibility, like making aircraft invisible to radar. So you think about seeing something. What's happening? You're watching how light waves reflect and refract off an object, how light hits something and scatters through it. Radar uses microwaves to do the same thing. So that first Duke invisibility cloak in 2006 used a printed object made of copper and fiberglass to bend those microwaves around a metal cylinder and put them back together again on the other side of it. Awesome, right? Like the cylinder wasn't even there. And since then, Duke's been working on more and more advanced versions of the cloak. The newest version works based on metamaterials, which are these carefully woven fabrics of different elements. So you think about how different gold and copper look in the light. It's because they interact with light differently. But if you weave them together at this incredibly small scale, you can combine how both of them work with light and use those properties to control the wavelengths more completely. So we could potentially make military bases and installations invisible from radar. We could even cover a plane in it. Cool, Anthony. Radar. Microwaves. Awesome. Where is my Harry Potter cloak? Well, what's really holding us back now is manufacturing technology. In order to control a wave, a metamaterial has to be smaller than that wave. And microwaves are measured in centimeters. For science, manufacturing something at the scale of centimeters is like baby town frolics. But light waves are measured in nanometers, and making a woven fabric at that size is fairly out of reach right now, even though we've made nanofiber threads out of materials like carbon. But here's what's insane. You know that original 2006 cloak, right? It was made in a lab using all these very precise, high-end fabrication machines, which you'd expect because it's an invisibility cloak. But researchers at Duke are saying that these days, you can make that original cloak at home with an off-the-shelf 3D printer. The height of metamaterial technology from 2006, right in your living room. You could be radar free. So what does this mean six years from now? Are we, are we six years out from printing metamaterials at home? Nanofibers? We watched over the last 10 years as the gap between home and high-end computers just started closing insanely fast. Right now, 3D printers are pretty limited single materials, plastics, but how long until that fabrication gap closes? And we're all sitting in our living room, eating pizza, and printing the sort of things you can only make in a high-end lab right now. You know, I would ask you guys what you'd do if you could print an invisibility cloak, but I don't even trust myself to answer that maturely. So instead, I'll just remind you to subscribe for more D News.